thoughts on, on that one? Another big inning early on, and uh, and, and the offense kind of poured it on there at the end. Yeah, a little slow at the gate, I think, wound up. You know, we had a couple of guys on right there in the first, and then a the unique first third there. And we didn't have a play on, and Judge just being overly aggressive there and takes off, and that changed that whole first inning. It was nice to see us come back and really went down for the first time this year. The guy hits a solo home run to first baseman there, and we're down one to zero. So. I did like the response. We wound up scoring seven in the bottom of the second and then really followed that up when you go back out. So uh, you answered them, and then you also produced a shutout inning after having a beginning of your own. That's, that's good to see that trend continue from the weekend into the midweek. And, uh, you know, middle inning, we did strike out ten times tonight, uh, although we wound up, you know, scoring a lot of runs there late in the game, kept playing, got a lot of guys in the ball game. But their first reliever, I think, wound up having five strikeouts. and. I think I was reporting to you guys how good a job we actually did with evaluating the strike zone on the weekend. I thought that actually got away from us a little bit in the middle of the ball game. Uh, Judd didn't didn't swing it as, as well tonight, and just so so much expectations with him. I think he had a couple of walks, but Bliss and Woley are fun to watch right now. They're just having amazing at bats over and over and over. I think that's the second time in the last two or three ball games that Bliss has had the bases loaded. And, you know, found a gap out there and had a tremendous at bat. Um, again, I, I just, you know, we're, we're punching people out a little bit and the defense has been pretty routine, uh, but the guys ranking again, made some good plays and it just looks like we're secure um, defense so far. That's That's been positive. Matt Scheffler had three hits, but he also played a fairly complete game because he winds up throwing a guy at third to try to stretch a dirt ball from first to third. He throws a guy at second on a dirt ball by just playing catch, doing his job. And then he actually got us out of an inning that we were struggling a little bit to where um, Garrett Wade had done a, a pretty solid pick over to first base and he thought we had a flinch there. And, and it's just his brain's working really well tonight. And then actually gets us out of an inning. I think we're down in a 3-0 count and does a throw behind with Connor there. And so that's some, some veteran savviness, I guess, uh, that, that I like to see. Um, Trace Bright for a first start ever. I thought he drove some balls in there. I thought he elevated his game a couple of times when he was pitching in traffic. So positive to see. Maintained his velocity from the stretch. Just got us out the gate. Probably threw a few too many pitches. I think that's why Tim got into the pen a little bit early. Um, and then, uh, again, Carson Skipper has just been dotting eyes and crossing T's. Another two solid good innings when he put the fastball and the breaking ball where he wanted for the most part. And then, uh, you know, that ex it was pretty exciting watching Mason Barnett uh, throw the baseball and, and finish a ball game, kind of give you that uh, Cody Greenhill feel. But that was a huge night and a huge exciting piece of how he finished the ball game on the mound for us with, with Barnett. How exciting are, are you to see, you know, yeah, there's some struggles, had a, a bases loaded, but you put guys in in one inning, two inning stints, and they they kind of kept it there. Is that good to see for these young guys that they they haven't let that? I guess they haven't lapsed, even though with a big lead out there. Yeah, we wanted to do that before. I mean, Tim's doing an excellent job setting that up, but the the guys have to execute. So that one inning should make you feel even better about your game. That's they're doing their job and what they're asked to do. Um, so they're not throwing too much. It's actually keeping them sharper. This is what it's supposed to look like when it's working right and you don't feel like you're knocking anybody out from having an opportunity to come back and help us this weekend. And uh, so that's a good plan, number one, and then that's players executing the plan really good that I think keeps them sharp and keeps them ready. So that's been exciting to see, and every time they've gotten out there, they've, they've done a little bit of work. Uh, probably two or three of their hardest balls hit tonight were with Baker, but he finds a way to you know, on his back, out against the wall to, to make a few pitches there. But uh, they're learning something every time they get out there. I got still some young guys that's not keeping a, a foot in the box, uh, um, not checking in. They're, they're hitting a home run, but they're not checking in with the umpire when we put them in the ball game, the elementary stuff. Uh, but I'd rather them hit home runs and me have to help coach them up to know when to report into the game. So it's awesome. Uh, Sicoli, I should mention that. I mean, that's he doesn't get into a ball game and he steps in and he hits a home run. We bat around, he comes back and he gets another RBI single. So he goes two for two in one one inning. So 
we got a ton of challenges ahead. It's only five games. We don't. We still don't know exactly who we are. We know who we want to be, and we want to pursue it. But so much baseball ahead of us, and it'll start this weekend. This will be a great series. It was a dogfight in Orlando last year against UCF, and um, they have talented players. Uh, you know, they're going to run some big arms. You know, up more velocity than we have coming out of that bullpen to finish a game if they get a lead. Um, you know, sticking a couple of guys on us and we've seen it before and we know their style of play. So Coach Lovelady is going to bring a great team up here and we're going to learn more about our ball club and, you know, with having Howell and, and Williams out for us to be able to perform and still have some power and still be able to do some things in the ball game is, um, it is exciting, but we just got to take it a day at a time and get ready for an amazing series coming up. Looking forward to seeing how your team answers I mean, a little adversity for them without a couple of guys, just seeing That's how right. they do against against a team like UCF this weekend. Yeah, no doubt. So we just got to keep helping each other, and guys got to keep stepping up. I think Tyler Miller's done a nice job. That was good to see Brayton Brown get a start out there. Um, again, you see Austin Turner come in late. He got his first hit in RBI of the season, and he goes in, and we feel like we improve our defense a little bit later. When he goes to center field, Judd bounced over to, to right, actually, tonight, I think. Judd is our guy that's really comfortable in all three outfield spots. But, you know, we're sitting here early and, and, and finding a way, and, and guys are, are, are playing well with having two-thirds of our outfielders out. And um, they'll be back soon. We want them to be back 100%. But it, it's good to be having success while a couple of key, key players are, are, are down for a few games. We're going to talk to Rankin in, in a minute, but what, um, how pleased are you with the start at the plate and in the field so far? Yeah. I, I think I know when he gets on a hitting run, I, I've seen it before. He hadn't had a chance to play third base. I, again, he played it so athletic. He moved so good. And he got so good at first base last year toward the end of the year. He started making some plays in the postseason of foul balls and diving. I know he made a, a great play in Omaha sliding into the wall that I don't think he could make early in the year. And now he's worked on this, uh, trying to play third base. And um, again, he's just kind of made every play and it's actually it's not just dominating a routine play. It's kind of he's turning his body loose and, you know, he's checking a runner, looking a back, throwing across the infield. But uh, I, I couldn't be more pleased for him. And, and he's, he's much more fun to be around when he's hitting the ball well. So we like that too.